Hello Cancer, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? I'm going to look at your energy and the energy of another person. This could be a person on your mind, okay? This could be who you're going to be attracting um, next. Uh, we'll get more clues as the story comes out, okay? And if it resonates, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Okay, it's going to be your energy, their energy, how you view them, how they view you, and your actions, their actions, okay? I feel like this energy of like, you know, you need to demand respect. I don't know if demand is the right word. There's something here where you're not being re respected. We're going to see about that. We'll see if that comes, up, that comes out with the cards. You have eight of pentacles here. There's something you're very focused on, you're very driven. This could be a situation where you meet someone at work. Or there is your passions are very much so on your mind. There's something that you're almost done with. Or there's something here where it's like it's almost over. Dealing with something, focusing on something is almost at an end. And so then it's like, okay, well then now what? You know, it's kind of that energy. So we're going to see about this. Okay, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You have the devil, you have the tower, and you have the three of cups. There is a way where you're not being respected. There's something here that's going to come out about a group of people that you cannot trust. You could be dealing with a Capricorn person. You don't have to be or a Scorpio. But there's something here where you're going to see people for who they are, a situation for what it really is. Um, this could have already happened for you. And you're not feeling respected. There's something here where something cannot be trusted. Something is not healthy. Something you thought it was one way, it's something else. This is giving me Rapunzel vibes. You know, in the t movie Tangled, it's like, yeah, you know, I have a beautiful tower. You know, I have a, my uh, mother here. I have uh, my lizard, you know, whatever. I'm happy. Life is good, but it's not. It's really messed up, you know. And seeing that for the first time, there's illusions that are being revealed to you. And this has to could have to do with a friend group or people that there could be people that you're connected to with another person and they help you see all of these things. You could go out and meet new people and then you realize how messed up something is, something that's coming to an end. It's like you're ending something, but it's not all the way over yet, but it's almost over. But it's like, because, you know, Entangled, once she leaves the tower, she's like, wow, that was pretty messed up. But you don't really realize it until you're out of it. So you're going to meet new people that you can trust, that you can celebrate with, okay, um, that are going to help you see just how overbearing, just how, you know, wrong this past situation is and just how much you like, you don't deserve that. Wow. You know, you have the six of wands, you have the two of wands, and you have the strength card here. So there is a person here that I don't believe you know this person yet. Maybe you this has already happened and now you're just meeting this person. Okay, it can be something like that. Or for some of you, you don't know who this person is. Um, or you know them, but you're not in a romantic connection yet, or it's just beginning, right? It's like a new energy. And this is someone who has dealt with a lot in their life strength card. This is someone who's really worked to overcome things. This is a person who has taken the time to learn from their mistakes. This is a person who has control over their own emotions. They don't make their emotions other people's problems to deal with. Uh, this is a person who's balanced within themselves and this is a person who has learned how to trust themselves and is someone that is a trustworthy person, you know, as a person that is loyal, a, a person who has integrity. It could be a Leo person, doesn't have to be. Um, you have the six of wands and the two of wands. So this is a person who, you know, they're, they've been seen, they've achieved some things in their life. 
and there are people around them that, you know, value them, that, you know, trust them, that look up to them. And so that's a really important thing is like, you know, everywhere this person goes, this person is giving me the energy of like, you know, this person stops at the same coffee shop every day and everybody that there knows them and they all make jokes back and forth. And, you know, it's that kind of thing. You know, everywhere this person goes, it's like people know who they are. They're the person that takes the time to get to know other people. And they're a person that, you know, they want would want the person that they're with to know their people that they know. You know, this is a person who like they know their neighbors and they help them with stuff, you know, and, and, and it's like a good energy. This person is someone who's achieved a lot in their life. And now what's next? You know, now they're like healed, they're good, and now what? You know, so this is a person who it's like, you know, they want love. That's something that they want. They want somebody else by their side. And whatever past relationships, whatever, they've healed from that. They're settled from that. They're doing good. They have achieved everything. But now it's like, okay, I want love, you know? So, this is interesting. How do you view them? Okay. You have the two of swords, you have the world, and you have the ace of wands. So this is a person who, you know, they've been through a lot of difficulty in their life. There is a new passionate opportunity between this person. You could have known this person for a long time, and this was a no before. Like, this was no, you know, because, you know, they were with someone, you were with someone. There was a way where this was not a possibility here, but then there's some sort of a change that has happened, and now there is, like, a passionate opportunity between you and this person. There's a very strong connection between you and this person. You see them as someone who can overcome difficulties. You see them as somebody who can make their way out of a difficult situation, that they're going to take their time to think of healthy solutions that are going to change their life for the better. This is a person that wants to make, they want to build something that's going to last. That's how they make their decisions, you know. They're very much so a person that sees the big picture, is thinking of other people that are involved, what's right for them, and that's how they're going to move forward here. This is a person that could have transformed them, their life from something where you know maybe long this if this is like long ago they were in addictions or long ago they were you know they did these kinds of things in their life that weren't the best choices you know they had a trapped situation that they made their way out of and you know now they're ready for something beautiful and you have this connection with this person here so you see this person as someone who's very inspiring. This person is an inspiration. They probably have a very inspirational story because of all that they have overcome. And it's been a long time that they're now in this healthy energy, you know, and uh, it's very profound impact that this person has. And I feel like you really admire that about this person. How does this person see you? Wow. They see you as this new beginning. They see you as, you know, which is very interesting because they're looking at what, what's next and they see you as what's next, basically. You know, this is very interesting because you have the world card is how you view them and then the fool is the next, car, you know, the new beginning. So you see this person as someone who, you know, they have ended something here. They have overcome things in their past and now they're ready for this new beginning here with this vitality and so are you. So you guys are viewing each other very, you know, the same way. Uh, they see you as someone who they can um, build something that's going to last. They see you as a passionate person. They see you as your own professional and your own right. They respect you. They're very intrigued by you. They see you and them as like you could, they could picture it. They can picture the whole thing. They can picture the two of you coming together. They can picture the two of you complimenting each other very well. This person views you as high value. That's what this is talking about. Uh, wow. This is very exciting. Okay, let's see your actions. Okay. You have the Hermit, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have the Eight of Wands. Okay, answer. 
I feel like your actions are, you're like, yeah, you're seeing all the signs for this person as this person is it. And you're going to kind of just pull away into yourself. I feel like you feel the feelings, the emotions for this person, but it's almost like, I'm not going to show that though. <laughs> you're going to tell them? You kidding me? I'm going to be vulnerable? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like you put in a lot of hard work and you're here, but you're not making the first move. They're going to have to make the first move. They're going to have to walk, uh, you know, over to your cave and come say hello. <laughs> you know, so I feel like spirit is kind of saying, um, you know, you've put in a lot of hard work and you have healed your heart and you have learned a lot of lessons here. And it's okay to put yourself out there. But at the same time, it's like this person is going to come to you. You could be calling this person with your energy. This is like hawk energy, you know, the mom hawk. There is a day when it's like, okay, you know, it's time to leave the nest. So she's going to go fly to a nearby branch and she's going to call. And she's going to call out to the baby hawk. And guess what, baby hawk? <laughs> You're going to have to fly. <laughs> That's it. You know, the mom's not going to bring you any more food. And she trusts and believes in this hawk's ability to do this, right? And if this situation is right for you, you're trusting in spirit and you're going to call with your energy, with your vibration. And the right thing is going to come towards you. Um, You have the Ten of Swords, you have the Six of Swords, and you have the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person, you know, they want this. They want to come towards you. It could take them some time because I don't know if they're sure that you have feelings. There is a way that you have to show that you're vulnerable. And there's going to be an opportunity for you to show that. And if you show that, this person is going to come forward. They're going to take this chance. They're going to take this risk. Um... Yeah. I feel like if they put themselves out there and if you're, you know, not paying attention to this, if you're closed off, if you're putting up a wall, this person could look elsewhere. We're going to see about this. You have the nine of cups, you have the queen of wands, and you have the strength card here. You're going to get what you want. I feel like, you know, the queen of wands, she has this magnetism. She attracts things to her. She doesn't have to go out after. And that's the thing is your energy has to be open to this. And this is how this person is going to come towards you. You have to be willing to be vulnerable. That's how, that's what the Queen of Wands is talking all 100% about. And it's interesting because, yeah, you have the, the, they have the strength card up here. So this is saying this person is going to come to you. This is their wish fulfillment that they want, but they, it's like, okay, yeah, look at all the same cards are coming out. This is talking about you being open. It's like, did you just get out of something and this person, you know, do they know if you're open to something new? You know, there's going to be ways that this person, I feel like it's going to work out. I feel like it's going to, it is going, you may have a tendency to kind of really hide the way that you're feeling and you may not be aware of this. So pay attention to this. If you want someone to come forward towards you, but you are like not looking in that direction. It's like, this is the energy of like, the energy when you go out somewhere and you're just on your phone the whole time when no one's gonna approach you. You know what I mean? This is like, okay, waking up every day and saying, you know, I'm open to receiving. I am, you know, open to love. You know, if you say that before you go out, before you're around this person, you're just, you're putting yourself in an energy where you're open. 
you know, that's the empress. She calls things to her. Yeah, it's like the heartache and, well, nothing ever happens for me. And, you know, nobody new is going to come towards me. And, you know, I can't trust anybody out here. I'm always getting betrayed. You know, it's like <laughs> you have to be willing to be open, to be vulnerable. Yeah, that's what this is about. That's what this is about. That's why the empress is here 100%. 100% and you don't need to force things to happen either to you know go up to this person to make things happen you know um just a smile right just responding when they start a conversation you know and there's a way where people will put up a wall and then people think oh they don't want to talk to me you know what I mean so that, that's something to pay attention to. I feel like you're doing that. You're going to do that. Here. Wow. Because it's like, you know. And that's why the tower is here because the wall is going to come down. See, like what you're thinking in your mind is very important. Your thoughts is like becoming your energy. So when you're thinking about things that make you angry and you're thinking about situations where you couldn't trust people, you know, this is in your energy. And then people are thinking, oh, they don't want to be near me when you do. So thinking about things that make you feel joy, that make you feel fulfilled, that make you feel beautiful. That make you feel worthy of love. That's important. This is how someone is going to know that it's safe to come towards you. It's safe to pursue this by the book. Someone is very much so like they want to come towards you, but by the book, it's like they want to do it right. <laughs> and they're afraid that it's not going to be accepted. So it's just like somebody is like looking it up and it's like, oh, they're acting like this. So no, I guess I shouldn't move forward here. There's something about that. Yeah, there is this peace because like chaos and conflict. There are some things here where you had very chaotic things happen to you. And this is not about letting that take over you because you have peace here. So you being in this energy of peace. That's what's going to change this. Yeah, you have Treasure Island. You have beautiful things. You have wish fulfillment coming towards you. But this is about being willing to be vulnerable and trusting within yourself. Look, soulmates. Wow. This is a beautiful... Chain of events that will affect your life. There is a change that's happening here. There is a big, big change. You and this person are coming together in a really beautiful way. Something didn't work out because there's something so much better here for you. And you're seeing that now. Oh, I didn't see there's more than one. The axe force is working against you. It's going to be very clear to you who you can trust, who you can't trust at work, work, achievement, success. There's certain people that you cannot trust. And so you could have gotten out of that situation, but you don't want to keep that energy on you because then people are thinking that it's about them. And so they don't want to approach you when it's not. You do want this person. You have the eye, psychic ability, trust your intuition. There's something here that you feel isn't right and it's not right. And there's something here that is right. And it's like, this is getting out of that negative situation 
is going to change things for you as far as a love. You will be shown the way. Look at the candle. Yeah. Everything is going to work out for you. You need to trust within your own intuition and you need to separate that situation. Those people that betrayed you is not this new situation that's coming out. Yeah. Okay, Cancer. This is what I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did and you want to like or subscribe, then I would appreciate it.